and welcome to another Rockin' Refashionista Upcycled Fashion Tutorial. Today we are actually going to be revisiting one of my oldie but goodie tutorials because the subject of this tutorial I actually have on my feet right now and these wonderful shoes are still going strong so I thought this is absolutely worth a reshare. Now over the years I have painted leather shoes, faux leather shoes, plasticky shoes, rubber shoes, and of course, clogs. <laughs> now, sometimes it really works out well, other times not so much, but these ones, my darlings, that I did more than a few years ago are still absolutely wonderful. They are still one of my fave pairs of shoes, and uh, yeah, they match perfectly with my wonderful vintage polka dot dress. And yeah, they are. I don't know, can you see them? <laughs> Not flashing anyone am I? <laughs> anyway, let's get to the tutorial. <laughs> this is confession of a refashionista. For this shoe transforming project, you'll need newspapers, brushes or sponge, masking tape, acrylic paints, spray varnish, and your victims. Your first step is to fill the shoes with newspaper and simply tape off all of the areas that you don't want to get paint on. And now it's finally time to get painting. Now I found with leather shoes that it's best to use a soft sponge and really work it and rub that paint into the shoe leather. And this really does help to prevent any paint cracking in the future. And after two coats of sponged on rubbed in acrylic paint, I now have stunning bright pink shoes. Awesome as this pink color is, they are kind of missing something. And I'm thinking it is polka dots to match my lovely pink polka dot dress. Create perfect polka dots with a Q-tip. Simply pop some paint on the end, dot off the excess, and bam, you have perfectly round polka dots. Continue until your shoes are covered. And the final step is to give them a lovely coating of spray varnish. Then allow it all to dry overnight, remove the newspaper and the tape, and enjoy your groovy new shoes. So simple. And seriously, these shoes have lasted for like six or seven years now. I haven't had to do any retouching, nothing like that. And uh, yet, like I said, I wear them all the time. So definitely, if you're kind of on the fence, if you're a little bit nervous about throwing some paint on your shoes, if you don't wear them, you know, you got nothing to lose, paint away. Just make sure you do put a clear coat of varnish, a spray over top, just to protect them. And uh, yeah, go crazy. Let your imagination go wild and create some fantastic artsy shoes for yourself that, you know, perfectly coordinate with your outfits. <laughs> Now, as always, for loads of tips, tricks, tutorials, head on over to my refashionistasherry.com and I'll also put the link below for my shoe refashioning category over on my site and that's where there are, I mean, a wealth of tutorials for shoes, boots, and everything in between, flip-flops even. So um, yeah, head over there and until next time, I'll catch ya on the zigzag. Subscribe to my mom's channel, follow her on social media, and buy her ebooks. Yay, thank you.